So let's start at the very beginning, the lovers. Um, many cancers I know have either started a new uh, love affair or looking for a new love affair, but there has been a huge shift in their heart space. This can be the soulmate card. So uh, Cancer, have you started a new soulmate relationship with someone or interested in someone? So it does look like love and the lovers um, are the main focus or one of the main focus in December's reading. So uh, it does look like your heart is open and ready to receive. You're in a really new heart space, even if you're in a dedicated uh, relationship, even a long-term dedicated relationship, it does feel like you're in a new heart space um, and that you are open and there is things moving and shifting and that you're trying new things for either a current relationship or to create a new relationship or are embracing a brand new one. So the lovers are right here. What crosses you is the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles, this is a God card. Pentacles are earthly things. Um, so your earthly bound things may be getting in the way of your love life. Um, but it also feels like there may be a challenge on your earth suit, on your earth, on your body. Um, so be uh, very kind to yourself. Uh, it's feeling like you need a little bit more rest than you have been gifting yourself lately, that you've been kind of burning the candle at both ends. So this Ace of Pentacles is telling me it's time for you to make yourself important. This is the hand of God. Uh, make your physical self important. Do what you have to do. You know, if you've got a weird lump in your breast, go have it checked. Don't um, neglect it. Do not neglect your health. Um, this is the hand of God stuff. So um, it does feel like you need to prioritize your medical um, and your body that you can, um, you know, sometimes a brand new love or how a um, uh, relationship space can kind of distract us from our own earth suit and what we need to do to make it healthy. But it does look like you need some focus, more focus on you. And um, this does feel like some opportunities too, like some changes may be coming on a physical level. So you may be looking at moving or um, just creating a, a nicer environment. Uh, you know, can be even painting the house, something like that. But it does look like you're looking to make a change in your physical, um, in your physical place, and also. Um, Pay attention to your earth suit or your physical being. The moon is, is right here. Uh, it is above us. And the moon is, is all of our internal things. Uh, this is the moon usually shows up when we are, you know, in that creative mindset place. And the moon kind of asks you to take those wonderful create creative ideas from inside and turn them to the outside. So start uh, creating them on a physical level or manifesting them on a physical level. The moon also can stand for mother. So you may be doing some work around your relationship with your mother, either healing it or connecting with her or releasing uh, energy from the past. But it does feel like you've been very intrinsic the last couple of months and now it's time to let people in. Um, it, it, I'm also getting the message that you've been isolating and not coming out of the cave a little bit, being more intrinsic, um, more into in self than you have out in the world. And it does feel like your family and friends are missing you and it's time for you to come out of the cave a little bit and enjoy um, those that love you and, and appreciate your energy. Um, so that is the moon. What is to the left? of the lover's card is the death card. So this may have dictated that you have had a change in your love space. This may have been an ending to a relationship or an ending to a relationship uh, that facilitated you connecting with someone else. So it does feel like there is some kind of ending involved here that kind of propelled you into this next space. 
This can be a physical death, but I don't see any major cards around here. The emperor just feels like integrity to me. This does not feel like you have lost someone uh, or they have transitioned into death. But death card is the ending of something. It is in the past position, so it's something that you are aware of already. It could be a job, a relationship, a friendship, uh, moving from a house. But something has ended and it has facilitated this motion. Um, kind of demanded um, that some motion happen and that you refocus on other things than you have prior. Uh, the emperor is here. This is in the main position, in the present time position. And the emperor, he is one of great integrity. He is the one that kind of holds the moral space when, you know, those around you fall kind of thing. Um choosing the right path. It may not be the easy path. So it does look like some things may um, be in your awareness now that are a bit of a challenge, but please face them with, um, with the strength that I know that you have and um, move forward in making those changes. Uh, but it does look like it's time for you to make you very important. This is all just telling me it's time for you to make you very important and also to come out of your cave a little bit and interact a little bit more. And if people are gossiping around you, you hold uh, that, that moral compass um, to your specifications. So it does feel like rising above a situation. Uh, this fire around here feels like there may be some negative energy being thrown to you. This can be, you know, a court battle. This can be a divorce. This can be somebody who's angry with you from the past. You just hold your head high and walk through it. It's really none of our business what other people think about us, um, only what we think of ourselves. So you hold yourself up high and you will be able to move through this challenging place. So what is ahead of you? It looks like the two of uh, two of wands. I mean, sorry, <laughs> seven of wands. I'm looking at the two there. It's the seven of wands, and it does feel like you are kind of backed into a corner. And this may have something to do with the emperor about holding your head high, walking through whatever tumultuous things are in your path, but it doesn't look like it's something that you have created. It's something that you are dealing with. So um, you don't have to engage in this kind of um, tumultuous situation, but it does look like you're being backed into a corner, um, maybe being forced to make a decision that you're not comfortable with. Um, so be aware of that. Uh, this will help you do to, to decipher what decisions to make with this situation. But it does look like it's a bit uncomfortable for you and that, um, you know, a, a lot of uh, pressure is being put on you to make a decision that's not comfortable is what it feels like. The Page of Pentacles is here and pages are messages. Uh, Pentacles, you know, this can be children, but for the most part, because it's in the lower area here, it does feel like it is messages. And pages of uh, Pentacles are good news and it can re uh, regard material things. So are you looking for a place to live? You know, somebody may say, hey, that apartment's available to you. Um, this is worldly ambition. So you may get, you know, positive kudos for doing a job well done, but you will get some type of good news or validation um, for the regarding some material um, or physical thing. The Knight of Cups is here, and you know, the Knight requires motion. This also can mean people. Um, it's usually someone under 30. If they're over 30, it can dictate that they are a little less mature than a 30-year-old. Cups are water signs, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, this does feel like a, a person and that uh, it does feel like you have either made amends or uh, it's right on the line of the ending thing. So it does look like you may have had a little bit of tumultuous uh, communication with um, a water sign. And it does look like... Uh, like you have been able to resolve and that um, the door of communication is open because that cup of love is now just kind of beaming bright. So it does look like you were able to resolve something either with a family member, uh, 
or, or maybe even your child or uh, someone who is a bit emotionally younger than you. But it does look like it's something from the past that uh, it's been a long time coming that, that these things get resolved. So it does look like they are resolving and you're moving forward towards growth and a more loving place. Uh, what is next here is the... Um, Six of Swords and the Six of Swords kind of dictates floating a little bit and collecting information, letting other people take control a little bit so you can heal your body, heal your mind, heal your soul. Um, you don't have to be the first one that people call. You don't have to jump and fix things for other people all the time. So it's time to do a little bit more self-healing and just wait it out. Float a little bit over the holidays and see what spirit brings to you. It does feel like you are a little isolated. There's a couple of the isolating cards here. So come out of the cave, enjoy the love, get loved up on, and then you can make uh, whatever decisions that you have to make at the beginning of the year, it doesn't look like something that has to be um, dealt with immediately, whether this is moving, looking for a new job, or um, resolving issues that are outstanding. It's okay to float a little bit and let somebody else drive the bus while you either heal your mind, body, or soul. The night of Pentacles is the top here. This is an earth sign. This can be male or female. And the nights are about motion. So this does feel like it is more, um, it is is not a person, sorry, it is not a person. It does feel like spirit is asking you, you know, kind of put your money where your mouth is, um, do do the things that you need to do, um, take, take heed, but to move forward and take those ideas from the inside and manifest them to the outside. So if there are some activities that you need to do that you've been putting off for a little bit, it's time to, um, to, to put those great ideas out into the world. And if you need a little bit time to collect like this uh, card dictates, that's fine. But just have a game plan. Have a game plan for motion when, um, when the new year comes along. What is on the left side of this is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, this can be the Inheritance card. This is the Family Legacy card. So you may be looking at some things um, that you have brought into your awareness from your childhood that work for you or don't work for you. Um, it does look like your abundance is opening up more and more and more as you get out in the world and um, not so isolated. So it does look like like um, that manifestation place is ripe right now. So start thinking about what you want to do next year and, and start uh, figuring out that plan. What is to the right of it is the Knight of Swords also dictates motion, but this is feeling like some discussions have been maybe a little bit prickly while you're on the road to making these changes. And of course, sometimes we have to have that, those prickly things to bring things to the surface so we can resolve them. So it does look like you may have had some uh, cutting discussions and it does feel like with this Knight of Swords that you've had to revisit some things from the past in order to truly clean them up, to embrace them, and then then release them. But it does look like you have opened up communications with someone that you have been out of touch with for a while that is now back in your life. This can be a family member. This can be a close friend. Um, but it does feel like um, that that um, avenue of communication is open now. So just be very loving with your communication, even if they are not. This emperor kind of dictates, you know, hold the vision um, and remember your integrity, even if they don't. So that is your reading for the month of December, Cancer. I am going to throw a couple of these past life cards. This is uh, Doreen Virtue cards, and she's just great. These are her little one-word cards. Let's see. Love life. Well, there it is. Hello. Oh, yes, it does look like you're working on your love life, whether it's love life for yourself or others. But it does like look like that is a main focus or has been a main focus. Aha, that's the one that wants to come out. And karmic relationship. Oh, 
Are you with somebody that you're supposed to be with? Um, so it does look like um, your, your karmic relationships are becoming more and more clear and they are being gifted to you. So it does feel like this new lover space is part of that karmic relationship um, agreement. So love life and karmic relationship. So it does look like the people in your life are the ones that are supposed to be there.